Assembling your 721 and 821 sound level meter. Case overview. Thank you for choosing Larson Davis. In this video, we are going to discuss assembling and storing the Larson Davis Sound Expert 821 Class 1 sound level meter. The equipment and accessories are packaged in the optional hard shell carrying case. Here are the items included with the Sound Expert 821 and Accessory Kit X21-ACC. We have the meter, the preamplifier, the microphone, the calibrator, the windscreen, and over here on the accessory side we have the USB drive containing the G4 software and meter certificates, USB-C power cable, the power supply, the screen protector, and the included USB-C to USB-A adapter in case you don't have a USB-C port on your PC. Connecting the preamplifier and microphone. The 721 and 821 are designed with a removable preamplifier and microphone. This allows you to remove and store these accessories in protective cases for transport or, or when not in use. Before we start assembling the microphone and preamplifier, we must make sure that we don't have excessive static charge, so we should touch a grounded surface. Uh, when tightening the microphone, do not use excessive force as it is very fragile. Uh, tightly gripping or screwing the threads is not necessary. We should never remove the microphone grid cap that exposes the microphone diaphragm as the diaphragm is the most fragile part of the microphone and is easily damaged. Uh, you never want to touch the diaphragm, for example. If the uh, microphone grid cap is removed by accident, it should be immediately screwed back on for uh, safekeeping and protection of the microphone. So now that we know how to properly handle the microphone and preamplifier, we're going to combine these parts together to make what I call the microphone and preamplifier assembly. So to do so, let's remove the preamplifier from its case, and then we're going to remove the uh, black cap that's covering the pogo pin, and we're gonna place this back in the case. And now we're going to go and grab the microphone out of its case, and then we're going to gently uh, screw them together. Notice that I touched the, uh, the microphone to the, to the uh, preamplifier first. That would be to remove any excess charge and have that go through the outside of the case and not through the, the central pogo pin where the signal goes. So we just uh, screw these together and we just want to get them hand tight. And then once we have that unit assembled, let's go ahead and look for the little stripe on the preamplifier. Uh, this is an engraved line along the, link, the length of the preamplifier. When correctly assembled, the engraved line aligns with the top of the preamplifier release button on the meter. And that's this blue button right here. So we're just gonna line those up and then gently push down and you'll hear it click into place. Uh, we do not want to twist or apply any sideways motion to this. It simply just goes right in. Installing the windscreen. The optional two and a half inch foam windscreen, WS001, is installed by inserting it over the microphone and preamplifier assembly once it is installed on the meter. The windscreen also provides additional protection for the microphone and should be used by default, powering on and off the instrument, including the screen. To turn on the instrument from a powered off state, simply hold this power button for one to two seconds on the side of the instrument. Pressing this button momentarily will turn on and off the screen. And if you want to power off the instrument, simply hold this button for four to five seconds and the display will show a countdown. Release the button once the screen is powered off. Optional screen protector. A screen protector is included with the instrument. Instrument is not required, however, it will help protect the screen from accidental damage. The screen protector is not installed on my instrument shown here. Charging the instrument. The instrument can be powered and the internal batteries charged with one of the following methods. The included USB-C cable, which is CBL242-03, and this plugs into the USB-C port on the bottom of the instrument. Wireless charging. Simply place the instrument on the optional wireless charging pad, which is PSA046, or you can power the meter using 12 volts of external power supplied through the external power connector on the bottom of the instrument, 
And to do this, you would use CBL241-01. When utilizing the included USB-C cable with the 5-volt, 3-amp power supply, the meter's battery reaches a maximum charge in under 8 hours. When utilizing the included universal power supply and the optional wireless charging pad, then the instrument reaches a maximum charge in about 13 hours. Make sure to use the included USB-A to USB-C adapter if your power source or PC does not have a USB-C port available. Disassembling and storing the instrument after use. Step 1. Power off the instrument by holding the power button for about 5 seconds. Remove the windscreen by pulling straight off and then place this into the case. Remove the preamp and microphone assembly by grasping the preamp in one hand, make sure not to twist, and the meter in the other. Press the blue button on top of the meter and pull the preamp straight out. Now we can go ahead and place the meter in the case. Gently unscrew the microphone from the preamp assembly and then place it in the blue microphone case. Now we're going to go ahead and put the preamp in its case and making sure to reinstall the black cap to pr protect the pogo pin. Now we're going to place the calibrator in the case with the button facing down. This is due to the recess in the bottom of the case so that the calibrator is not accidentally activated. And then return any accessories to the compartment on the left hand side of the case. Micro SD card slot. The instrument comes equipped with a micro SD card located behind this access door on the bottom of the instrument. The SD card is not typically removed unless for troubleshooting purposes. Data should be downloaded from USB or Bluetooth using G4 or LD Atlas. It is not necessary to remove the SD card from the meter to download data. The micro SD card should never be removed while the instrument is powered on. Also, the access door should not be open while the instrument is powered on to help reduce the risk of static charge.